G'day guys, and today I'm going to do another lot of Cisco questions. Static routing configuration will be the flavor of the month today. 285, what is the command to delete a static route? So we've got no IP route, route delete, delete route, IP route delete. You'll notice with a lot of Cisco questions, they generally don't delete things. It's sort of yes or no, or enable or disable. And just giving you a hint there, the answer is A, no IP route. 286, your manager has disabled routing on the router by mistake. What a silly manager. What command could you use to enable routing again? IP routing, no IP routing, enable routing, no disable routing. And so those are the answers we've got there. So it's obviously not going to be B. Um, a or C would probably be the most likely. Uh, D is a little bit of tricky logic there. And it is A, IP routing. 287, what is the result of the following commands being entered on the route? It's got um, interface here, enable, config terminal. So we've got IP route and then address for the subnet mask with another address after that. So I might um, probably explain the answer here. So pause if you want to um, try and, I guess, make an assessment before I tell you the answer. Um, in this case, the answer is B. Any data destined for the 217463348287 subnet mask network is forwarded to the IP address of that address there, 261022. So I'll explain how the sort of notation works or syntax. So you've got IP routes, obviously, create a route in the first place, and then we've got the address there or I guess uh, destination address there with the relevant subnet mask of that address there and then the forwarding address is sort of placed there and obviously taking into account the uh, subnet subnetting of it all as well and uh, that ends up being the right answer I'm not going to do the subnetting calculation because that'd be that take me five minutes to show you guys so that's the answer B there 288 you have configured static routing on your router and would like to remove an entry from the routing table what command would you like to use so we've got delete and disabled, no IP route, undo route, and then the, all those addresses there. So looking at a few of the earlier answers, uh, lots of yes and no's, and um, with that in mind, the answer and the correct syntax is C, no IP route, address, subnet mask, and address. 289, what commands add a static route? IP route, route add, route add, IP route. First, so you're probably thinking A or D, and we have no subnet mask in A, which is a big, big no-no. And route add doesn't sound, I guess, too legitimate. So the answer here is D. IP route address, subnet mask address. 290, you type the following command into the router. Which of the following statements is true as a result of the command? It's got IP route, oh yep, 245.70. Subnet mask 22, 202, 3, 3, 10, and then another 10 separately. Packets destined for address will be forwarded to address at the end. The command configures a GWLR of, and that's gateway of last resort for you guys, of 22, 202, 3310. Packets destined for 245, 745 will be forwarded to end address. The administrative distance to the destination network is 10. Now, in this instance, uh, the sub with the subnetted network, it doesn't necessarily work with these numbers here. That's a massive giveaway there. And we've got a nice number here at the end, which is a big, big clue for the answer. And that number right at the end there with that IP route is the administrative distance. So the answer here is D. 291, you are the administrator for a small network made up of two routers. What is a quick method you can to use to configure routing between all networks? We can build static routes to all unknown routes on each router, configure the gateway of last resort on both routers to point to one another, configure NAT overload on the first router and static NAT on the second router, configure access list to allow traffic to route between the networks. For the, this one, um, the answer is B, configure the gateway of last resort on both routers to point to one another. So, probably works out best with, I guess, um, one router can sort of, when it's not too sure of where a packet needs to go, router one can go, hey, where does this go? And talk to router two, and vice versa, router two can go, I'm not sure where this is, I'm gonna to talk to router one. And they sort of uh, use each other as sort of a, a safety net, and uh, that's the most appropriate answer there. 
292 your routers are running the rip routing protocol and you type the following command what is the outcome of typing this command ip route two blocks of zeros five five one two four three eight and we've got a if there is no matching destination network on the routing table the router will send the packet to address you have configured rip to broadcast knowledge of the address network you have configured a connected route to forward traffic to that address then you have configured gateway of last resort so that if there is a packet destined for the five for the 55 network then the router will forward on to 000 000, 000 isn't really a network to forward to uh so we can eliminate d there already and what we got? you have configured a gateway of last resort uh, yep so i've just said no to that one you've configured a connected route to forward traffic that's a possibility you have configured rip to broadcast knowledge of the 55 network maybe but the answer is a if there is no matching destination network on the routing table the router will send the packet to 55 so with the gateway of last resort we've got uh those i guess zero entries there which is sort of like a, a default route it'll go if there is no address um in the the routing table it will forward it on the packet onto that uh, address there five five one two four three eight you're an administrator for router one for router r1 <laughs> looking at the figure below what command would you use to add a static routes to the missing network we got ip routes for lots of them we'll just go through here so we've got computer a on, on an 11 network router is going on the 12 network and then router 2 has a 13 network here so if you are looking at router one, looking at the figure below, what command would you use to add a static route to the missing network? So, obviously, they are on the 12 network, these routers, so we can pretty much eliminate those. And then it'll just be the 13 network. And then, obviously, we are on router one, so we do not have to worry about the, uh, the 12001 because it's not really a missing network because that is our network. And obviously, getting to the next network is 12002 on router two would make D the answer. IP route 13000255000012002, lots of zeros. 294, Tom, one of the network administrators in your office types the following command into the router. Which of the following statements is true as a result of the command? Uh, IP route, address, subnet mask, and forwarding address. So we've got packets destined for address will be forwarded to forwarding address. The command configures a gateway of last resort for that forwarding address. Can we got packets destined for initial address will be forwarded to forwarded address. The hop count to the destination network is 10. And what do we got here? So, which is true as a result. So packets destined for this will be forwarded to this. So essentially, I guess the sub question, if you like, with the way, I'm not, I'm not going to go into too much detail on the subnetting side of it, with the way the subnet mask is, the increment is of 32 from the starting address here, which is 64, which would mean the range would fall in sort of either side of 96, and 98 is out of that range, and 89 was in, is within the range of the subnetting with how the mathematics works. So the answer here is C, packet system for 245, 789 will be forwarded to 22202. 3310 and that's all thanks very much for watching guys uh, we've got uh, my website the online computer coaching.com really appreciate you guys joining in for another episode of the cisco roller coaster and i've got my cisco guide in the the resources in the description and you can get that one from amazon i'll get a commission for it if you buy it and I'd be forever grateful if you did buy it It'd be a massive help for you and for me so it's a win-win i'm all about generating win-wins free content for you guys plenty of free videos check them all out Subscribe away, that'd be great as well. Like the video, that'd be even more amazing. Thanks for hanging around, guys. I'll see you on the next video.